Bobby Wine's 1 million March flops. What's next? While Bobby Wine was abroad weeks ago, he called upon Ugandans to march to Entebbe Airport with a target of 1 million people to welcome him. This call came after Bobby Wine had been granted permission to traverse the entire country, mobilizing and inaugurating various NUP offices. As the NUP president concluded his mobilization efforts in upcountry regions with the goal of climaxing in Kampala, he received the disheartening news that, due to security concerns, he would not be allowed to gather large crowds in and around Kampala. This decision did not align with his principles. Shortly thereafter, he embarked on a mission abroad, well documented, including his participation in the convention held in Canada. During this time, he announced the One Million March, which quickly gained traction among many Ugandans, especially the youth, and received the warm welcome from the international Ugandan community that supports Bobi Wine's ideology. In the minds of many, the One Million March came to reclaim their victory of 2021 elections, as claimed. One million people were expected to march to Entebbe International Airport on October 5th to welcome the president of the NUP party, with the intention of proceeding to Narcasero State House if not allowed at Entebbe. Among the scheduled activities leading up to the march was a stopover in South Africa, where he would address a group of Ugandans before returning to Kampala. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Yeah. Okay. So let him address us now. Give him one minute to talk to us. Can you Why rush him? him? Give him there is a politics here. Yeah. Can you pass him? Calm down. 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 Yes. President However, not everything went smoothly, as Bobby Wine and his team were once chased away from their initial venue by their South African hosts. This was widely perceived as poor organization on the part of the hosting team, who cited concerns about the impact on their business as the reason for preventing Bobby Wine from speaking. Despite this setback, alternative arrangements were made, securing a remote venue far from the city where people could gather to listen to Robert Sentamu. During his address, Bobby Wine expressed his frustration at President Y.K. Museveni of Uganda claiming that Museveni had contacted South African officials to obstruct his programs. Nevertheless, he conveyed a message to Ugandans in the diaspora, particularly the youth, emphasizing their significant role in his political efforts. <laughs> Facebook,
As he concluded his speech, Bobi Wine mentioned his plan to hold a press conference at his NUP headquarters in Kamwokia after returning from South Africa. This announcement raised questions about the true intent of the One Million March. Was it solely to garner a grand welcome, or did it genuinely aim to help Ugandans reclaim their victory? On the morning of October 5th, only a handful of individuals, including Boda Boda riders donned in NUP party colors, and a few politicians embarked on their journey to Entebbe International Airport to welcome Bobi Wine. The One Million March had turned into a complete failure, with not even 200 people observed on Entebbe Road, according to our sources. This outcome followed reports of the government's mobilization of security forces, including the Uganda police, military police, and UPDF, to suppress any potential disturbances arising from the march. Army and police vehicles, Tegas vehicles, and armed personnel were visible at virtually every roundabout in Kampala and along Entebbe Road. Robertson Tormu's plane touched down at Entebbe International Airport around 10.05 am, and only a few people, including journalists and politicians, were there to greet him. Upon his arrival, Bobby Wine was swiftly escorted away by security operatives dressed as airport personnel. Him. Where are you taking him? Where are you taking him? Where are you taking him? Member of Parliament. Member of Parliament. Where are you taking him? This is happening on the international airport. They are coming to the plane. They are coming to the plane. This is happening at the international airport. The president and Honorable Kirumira Hassan Chagulani Center have been whisked away by 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 by, by, by SFC members. No, no, you cannot push me out. I come on this plane. You must wait. You must wait. You cannot push me out. Where, where? They are arresting the Honorable Hassan Kirumi and the President have been whisked away. This is an airplane. You cannot push me out. No, no, no way. You cannot push me out. What you are doing is wrong. I'm a member of parliament. You cannot pick me out of the plane. You cannot. I'm a member of parliament. You cannot pick me out of the plane. What you are doing is wrong. And you are violating international laws. Despite a few individuals broadcasting live footage, hoping to incite action from his Ugandan supporters. No significant response was triggered. In less than 10 minutes, Bobi Wine arrived at his residence in the suburbs of Kampala, Magare, amidst heavy security deployment. Ironically, or perhaps fittingly, rain began to fall, ceased after a few hours, and Ugandans resumed their daily routines. The news of Bobi Wine's alleged arrest under house arrest quickly spread, especially through international media outlets such as BBC, Al Jazeera, France 24, CNN, each providing their own account of the story. Lessons learned, international media often exaggerates events. To Ugandans are reluctant to risk their lives for uncertain causes. T the message of the One Million March did not resonate as intended. T Bobby Wine and his team appeared to have differing objectives for the march. T security agencies seemed better prepared to handle the situation without resorting to violence. T Uganda continues to move forward. T uncertainty shrouds the future for NUP. Report by Africa Uncovered Uganda Reporter.